Hey everybody, it's Shamika. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos. I appreciate you guys' support. So I wanted to get right to it and talk to you about the coronavirus. I know that is what is hot right now and everybody's freaking out and panicking, but I wanted to tell you or show you how during this time you could still keep your credit intact, okay? So one of the best things about when we have any kind of tragedy or um, actually any type of disaster, anything that happens in our um, economy, there are always resources and I wanted to bring those to you. So first I wanted to start by saying don't panic. Hopefully you guys are taking care of yourself. Um, please don't take this as a joke, it is serious. And um, let me show you how you can save a couple dollars. All right, so if you have a credit card, First of all, I'm going to say if you have any type of credit card, this is the time to call your credit card issuer to ask them if they are offering any type of incentive or any type of program or any type of assistance. That's actually the word you probably should use um, for individuals affected by the coronavirus. And when I say assistance, that could mean um, moving your due date to the end of the month. Uh, giving you a free pass where you do not have to pay the bill for this month. Um, they are um, as asking them to make it due next month without any penalty. Um, you can uh, ask for um, balance transfer. Um, if you know if you're having an issue with um, one company, one credit card company is offering you a 0% balance transfer and then the company you're with currently doesn't have anything and you don't want to pay any interest because you're not working right now, then a good option would be to call your credit card company and ask them, hey, are you guys offering anything? Because another company I have is actually offering me something and it could save me some money since I'm not working or whatever the case may be. So you definitely want to ask for that. You also want to see if you could get a balance increase. A lot of people are getting, not a balance increase, excuse me, a credit line increase. There are companies that are offering um, credit line increases for free just because they understand that you may be um, presently or currently going through something and you need some extra funds, especially if you're not working. So I am going to um, actually give you the list of those credit card companies that are actually offering something. Banks are also offering things too. So if you guys um, Love your bank. Even if you don't love your bank, give them a call and see what they are offering. A lot of times they want you to come to them with something. They are not always going to say, hey, because of coronavirus, we're going to give you this. What you have to do is call, ask them if they're offering any type of assistance programs, and then you can let them know your situation and then go from there. All right. So Capital One, which is always usually on the forefront of everything, they are um, encouraging all of their credit card holders to give them a call because they are offering some types of assistance. They may not necessarily put it in writing what it is. Um, I actually, um, my sister actually was able to call her car company where she is actually getting um, her car finance from. And they told her that she could qualify for uh, payment assistance if she had made six payments on time um, and then they turned around and connected her to someone else and then they ended up giving it to her. So just because they say that you have to meet these qualifications doesn't always mean that. They understand that during these type of events in the world, um, we are not thinking about paying our bills. So if they want their bills to be paid or if they want to be some of the, someone that we're going to pay later when this is all gone, then they have to treat us with a little bit more respect and give us some assistance. All right. So Capital One is one. If you have a Chase credit card, Chase is absolutely another um, company that is doing this uh, for individuals. You can also go into the bank and see if they are offering any type of loans. You can call as well um, if they're offering loans, and that's personal loans, um, to help you get on your feet if you happen to be uh, falling behind because of the virus. Let's see. We have um, Citibank. Citibank, it does, they have a few banks. So if you have a bank that is near you, you can also go inside and do the same thing. But they are also offering assistance to their um, customers that have credit cards. They are definitely giving, and it says here, and I'll put this link below too. They, it says that they are giving forbearance options. So that is an individual who cannot pay right now. You need to push your late payment back. 
Um, and they are also offering credit, credit line increases. Now, what I do want to say, and I'm going to throw this out because this has happened to me personally. If you happen to get one of these assistant programs, I would tell you to watch out for the remark that they're going to place on your credit report. A lot of times when you use these assistance programs and say, for example, they give you the um, forbearance where you don't have to pay. Um, instead of putting or reporting to the credit bureaus that they gave you a forbearance, they would usually put an in for no data. And then in the remarks, it would say something like um, individual affected by um, natural disaster. So that happened to me once when there was an issue, when we had a hurricane and I actually called and used one of the programs. Um, that's not necessarily something that I feel that is anybody's business. You may not be as particular as I am, but I will tell you that if you do use one of these programs to make sure that you um, look on your credit report for whatever remark that they are going to place, because usually they have to, and you as a consumer, you can um, write into the credit bureaus to dispute that, to have that actually removed later if you like. Okay, um, U.S. Bank. They are advising their customers to call if they've been affected by the coronavirus. Again, they put their 800 number down. I'll put the link below so that you guys can call if you have any of these banks. Wells Fargo is another one. Wells Fargo actually does have bank locations, so that is one of the banks that I would tell you to go and see if they're offering any kind of personal loan. If you notice, I didn't say anything about a business loan. I'll get to that later. Not saying that you should not do a business loan, but I do have something a little better than that if and when we get to that point. All right. So you always um, want to call to make sure they have something. And remember, you're going to ask them for assistance. So right now, those are the only credit card issuers that are putting that information out. Now, if you have Comcast, and I'll put that down as well. If you have Comcast cable, they are um, currently upgrading their internet speeds for their low income um, consumers. Now, I have no way of how they're going to determine if you're low income. That's probably if you're already on a low income plan. Um, they do have, uh, I think it's called Internet Essentials. That is a program for your low income customers where I think you get Internet for $10 a month. But if you are one of those customers, you can increase and get a, a higher Internet speed for two months. Um, all you have to do is call and they'll upgrade it for free. But it does have to be requested. Okay. Now, if you are a um, business owner, now this is the tricky part. So you guys probably have seen President Trump saying that he was going to release so much funding for economic injury to these businesses so that people will be able to get their money back for losses of having to, uh, to send employees home or to shut their business down and things like that. This is to me just another funky way of saying a bailout for businesses. But if you are a business owner, a small business owner, you can um, effectively get in on this. Now, what has to happen before you can go and get any money? First of all, these programs are just like the disaster programs that you get with FEMA. So if you are interested in getting um, money for your business, what has to happen first is uh, your state and your county has to be declared a natural disaster. The same thing that happens um, when you're trying to get a disaster loan from FEMA, if there's a hurricane or a tornado, whatever, your area has to be declared a natural disaster. Um, once you can find that, and I'll show you here on the computer in a second. Once you can see that your area is declared a natural disaster, you then can go and apply for an economic injury loan um, or a disaster loan, whatever you want to call it. They have its own funky names, and I'm going to show you here really quick because this is the one problem that a lot of people are not paying attention to. And I'm actually just going to use my phone um, and I don't think it's going to let me turn it around. So anyway, okay. So the website, I'm going to put this below too, but it is um, disasterloan.sba.gov. And it says, the beginning line says, if you suffered substantial economic injury and are one of the following types of businesses located in a declared disaster area you you're eligible for an sba loan so before you can do any of that it has to be a declared disaster area and in order to find out what area that is hold on i'm going to click this link um and it's also the same website disasterloan.sba.gov right now it currently does not have any state listed 
for um, an agency declared disaster or a disaster declared by the Secretary of Agriculture. It is not listed here at all. Once the state and the county does show, then and only then can you apply. What's great about the Small Business Administration loan or the economic injury loan, doesn't matter, it's all coming from uh, the Small Business Administration, is that it is a very low interest rate. You can get interest rates about 3%, 2%, 4%. So that means... If you want the best rate, you're going to have to have good credit. Now, they don't mention that, and President Trump definitely didn't mention that when they were talking about it, but I'm letting you know the underlining details of what you would find out later had you applied and did not know. So it's a regular application for a loan. It's through the government. It's completely funded. They really do give you the money. I knew someone actually that got a loan. It was great. They take you through. Um, you actually sit down and you, and you meet with the people and they, they come and they cut you a check. It's, it's all legit. But if your credit is not correct or good, you will not get it. Now, I did read where it stated that they understand that some people are having issues with their credit. So they're trying to be a little bit more relaxed um, on the rules. But I can tell you right now, if you have poor credit, you are being looked at by a bank and your credit worthiness still matters. So if you have decent credit, I say um, $620, 650 that, in my opinion, would be something I think a bank would look at you and go, okay, this is somebody that's lendable. Um, they may have maybe had missed payments in the past or maybe some, you know, late payments or whatever. Um, but their score is healthy enough to demonstrate that you will pay your bills on time. So definitely know, uh, forget all the other stuff. Of course, you're going to have to supply documentation to show that you're a real business, that you were shut down, you're not making any money anymore, but your credit is going to be key and helping you secure that loan. Now, another thing, if the um, state is declared a national disaster, then that opens up a lot of new things. And the reason why I said opens up a lot of new things is because as soon as it's declared a national disaster, that's when the president signs off on this wonderful declaration and it goes to the state. Now that means money is released, which means then you, if you are an individual who got sent home, you can apply for unemployment benefits. Right now, you cannot apply for unemployment benefits. In Florida, you can't. And matter of fact, it looks like any state because there's no state that's listed here that is a disaster at this current time. But when this declaration is passed, you can then do unemployment benefits. Um, uh, some places may even, if they have extra money, they might even offer um, uh, food stamps, just like they did when there's a hurricane. So um, we don't necessarily know all that's gonna transpire because right now, of course, we haven't been declared a national disaster, but I would tell you that the best way and the ones that are um, being able to be utilized right now are things with your credit and the bank. Um, so we're going to leave small business administration to the side, but I did want you to know that you do have to wait until we're declared a disaster before you can actually try to get any of that money. But just on a personal side, if you need assistance, you need help, you definitely want to go to the individuals who you have to pay every month. And that's your credit card company and more than likely your bank. And, you know, so, um, those will be your first line of defense. If you do not have money already put to the side. Go to them and see what they offer. I would also tell you to call your cell phone companies. Cell phone companies usually, um, they usually work with people when it comes to situations like this, um, where they will move your billing due date to another date, um, or they'll give you a forbearance as well. Uh, things like utility, utilities, those can be a little bit difficult. Um, those usually, they usually start offering things once the state and county has been declared a disaster. So you'd have to wait on that. So for right now, your cell phone, your credit card bills, and your banks are going to be the people that you need to, um, hop on and talk to the most. Um, I have a couple little notes here. So if you want, and you don't have an emergency savings, one of the things you can look at, and I mentioned that earlier is to do a balance transfer. Um, to a lower interest rate card. So then you could free up the one card. Uh, if your bank doesn't give you or your credit card company doesn't give you an increase, transfer one of your balances to another card and, and free up that other card so that you can now use that. You can also uh, apply for a personal loan. Um, although I'm not a big, big fan of personal loans and this new FICO 10T actually looks at personal loans in a bad way, but this is a situation that I don't think anybody expected. So um, if you got to get a loan, you just got to get a loan. But the name of the game is we want to try to pay this loan back 
and on time and before time if possible. And also remember, 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 do not accept any remarks about why uh, or how they um, were able to give you these things and they put them on your credit report. So do not accept the um, affected by a natural disaster or, um, you know, forbear, whatever they want to put as a remark, you don't have to accept it. I would tell you not to. It's not anybody's business. Um, so if you happen to see those things reported after you get any type of um, incentive from these companies, always just write the credit bureaus and ask them for a um not even ask them for, excuse me, just dispute it and state that you don't want this remark to be reporting. They didn't ask you, could it be there? It doesn't have to be there. It's your choice. It's your credit report. So um, you want to take advantage of that to make sure that, well, nobody gets anything about you that they don't need to get. So I hope I was able to help you guys. So remember, call your credit card companies, go to your banks, um, call your cable company, and your cell phone company and see what they are offering for assistance plans or programs for the coronavirus. Hopefully you guys will be able to get a little bit of joy out of that, although you guys are probably stuck at home or inside, but this is one of the things that you can do. Anytime that there's idle time, that's always the best time to work on your credit. So anyways, you guys stay safe. Get whatever you can because it's out there and they're offering it. Make sure you check the disasterloan.sba.gov site. I'll put those links below so that you can see what um, uh, they have or when they put your state and your county down so that you can apply and get some good freebies. So anyway, take care of yourself. Thank you guys again. Please like, subscribe, and share. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.